What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Heroes Card Challenge! We are here today for another awesome rip! We got ourselves today a retail back battle for the ages. It is going to wind up being the Allen and Ginter versus the Top Series 2 versus the Top Stadium Club versus the Tops Gypsy Queen. Which box will win today? Alright everybody, I'm super excited for today's rip. This is going to be the battle of the 2021 boxes. All four of these products have come out in different parts of the summer. They're all very popular products, so it'll be really interesting to see which one comes out with the best product inside. We're going to go ahead and start ourselves off today with Alan and Ginter. Let's see what this one has. This one here is probably, to me, the... I'd say the least popular of all of these ones here with the least amount of like big time hits. There's going to be 48 total cards inside. There is a chance for autographs and relics. There's no promises on anything, which is pretty common for a lot of the retail boxes, but it's still, they're fun openings. They do have some pretty cool cards that come inside of these. It's, um, the, the patch cards are really just kind of a cool looking style. They, uh, I think that them... And then you got like the Topps Gypsy, you got the Heritage. They all kind of have um, some of that throwback style look to them, which is really cool. But uh, we'll see what they uh, have to offer today. So let's go ahead and jump right in with this first box and get it started. Allen and Ginter 2021. The nice thing is because they have that perforated top, it rips open very easily, which is better than I can say about most boxes. So plus one. And we're going to go ahead and start right off with Pearson, rookie card. And this is another one of those boxes, them and the Gypsy Queen, where they only put the last name of players on them. So if you don't know the players very well, and you're not recognizing all the rookies, you probably don't know all of their first names at this point in time. Like this here is Ryan Jeffers. The back of these cards are pretty cool as well. As you give a quick look here, it will it does give statistics, but it's like it's got that old school idea behind it where it still puts all of it in like the written format, which is kind of cool. Gives a little bit of background about them and how they got to the team that they're on, if they're still on that team, that is. And like I said, it's very uh, old school feel look to it, which is pretty cool. We have ourselves a Gibson throwback heritage or historical card. We have a small short one in here, and this is going to be of Todd Helton. All right. That is a cool one. That is only 5 of 25. That is a super awesome short print right there worst thing about these here is i'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this in a large top loader the sleeves don't really work when you have a card like this because of how small they are so instead we're gonna go ahead and use a top loader if i can get this one open up here go ahead and drop that in there real quick keep it protected it looks like the it, it at least has the appearance that it is handwritten to the short print of the 525. That's super cool though. That is a Todd Helton. One of my buddy over on Zach's, on Nelson's Cards and Collectibles, Zach is a huge Rocky fan, so he will be very jealous of that card there. We have ourselves a the Giant Panda. That is the one interesting about Allen and Ginter is they do throw in these random cards that have nothing to do with baseball at all, but they're kind of cool. Uncle Larry, a fan. That's what that is. That's is a very popular fan. So that is the the, the uniqueness of Alan Jensen is like you just don't really know what you're gonna get in any given pack. It's gonna be thrown off. Um, but having that uh that super short print one, that is a, a cool one off that you don't usually find in a lot of these. So we got a Mondesi base card. We have a throwback of Museal. I don't even know who Stan Museal. We got Carlton, and we have ourselves another short card. And this one is of Anderson, Sparky Anderson, the manager from the Cincinnati Reds sometime in the past. And then we have our Topps Historical Hits. And this is from September 24th, 1998. It is Sammy Sosa, legend. That guy is right there. That is a really cool Cubs card of him. And then we got a Mariano Rivera, another um, historic player that doesn't play no more. So a lot of uh, throwback guys in this year's set today. Got a couple of rookies in the first pack. That second set had no rookies, but had a bunch of throwbacks in it. So, 
All right, we got a Wood Jr. Roy Wood Jr., he's a comedian. It does tell you what they come from, so it gives you a little bit of background on them. We got a Raphael Devers coming from a Boston Red Sox. That'll go into the PC just because it is a Red Sox card. A Lasorto, and then we have ourselves another mini card. Uh, it says Tiana, Sarah Tiana, a comedian. And then we have a uh, Abriol's Silver Maple and a Smith. So we've got another baseball player. <laughs> so far we have more non-baseball cards than we got baseball cards, but you know, that's the uniqueness of the Allen and Ginter set. It kind of just makes it a uh, makes it a little different. All right, we have ourselves a Buster Posey. What a great year he has been having this year on that uh, San Francisco Giants team that's best been running over people. We got JP Happ. Got it. I think it's DJ Cameron, if I remember right. Daz Cameron. My apologies. Apologies, Daz. And this one's backwards. Is it going to be a? Nope. It is a mascot in real life of a lion. Why it was backwards, I have no idea. <laughs> but a mini card there. Uh, apparently, it is a. Oh, well, it is a some sort of insert. So it might be some sort of short printed card. Maybe, but it's a lion. I guess that goes with Detroit. That's the. Oh, it's actually honoring the Royals. Did not know the Royals. Oh, the Royal Lion. Okay, that's fair. And then we have a short number 21 in 50 Philadelphia Phillies card that is featuring the man down there, Bryce Harper. But it is a uh, it is a numbered card. Interesting. That's the uh, one thing about this set is you really just don't know what to expect. I'm not even sure how to separate these cards out exactly because there's so many random different things in here. And then we got a trammel. All right. Next up. Got ourselves a uh, Hiura. Got a David Price. Jordan Alvarez. Some great players there. We got ourselves a rookie of Jake Cronenworth on the mini card. We got a Bull Shark. And a rookie Garcia. This one is definitely, that's why I wanted to do it first as well. This is really going to be kind of a, a random one off pack. It's going to kind of throw you off with some of the stuff that they throw inside there, but it is cool at the same time. We've got a legendary Greg Maddox. He has actually wearing glasses in that picture. That's interesting. we got an Ichiro, and then we have Far, Far Away. Whoops. Caldwell. Interesting. Throwback. Historical. Ty Cobb. That's a cool looking card. Comes from the Red Sox as well. we got a Kirk rookie card. So yeah, a couple, so a couple of our rookie cards. None of our really big names from this year yet, but you never know what they're going to turn out to be later on in their careers. Not everyone comes off and hits it him right off the bat. And we got a Corbin there, and then we got ourselves a social media star in Leo Kelly. And he's a little kid that I've never seen before. Don't keep up with social media well enough, apparently. And then we got the Black Birch, and we got ourselves our Trevor Lawrence. Now that's actually kind of a cool football card only because it's football in a baseball pack set so who knows might be a kind of popular card especially because Trevor Lawrence is extremely popular right now we got ourselves a Ryan oh Wagner throwback we got ourselves Pete Alonso he's a great player on a tough team and then we have a Mike Soroka from the Atlanta Braves mini card, followed by the Washington Na Nationals, 30 in a series of 50. Very nice. I actually don't know if these are short printed or if they're just the, it's just they have 50 of these interesting Mirage style cards. I think that might be the case. So. But we'll put that off to the side anyways, and then a Hoskins to finish it off. So that is our Allen and Ginter set. I'm going to go ahead and move the base cards out of the way. 
because we're going to have a lot of cards to go through today. We got ourselves our rookie stack. Put our rookies off to the side here. And our couple of hits. Really the only hit hit in this set here would definitely be that Todd Helton, uh, being that it was a numbered card and a pretty short print numbered card too. So it's a cool one to cool one to get there. Next up we're gonna go with what I would say is probably the next one in the line of value, and that would be the top baseball series two. It's a very popular set. It's gonna have the most cards in the box, I believe. This box here is going to have has eight packs in it, and I believe each pack is somewhere like 15 cards, so it's going to give us quite a few cards. And these are all going to be baseball players this time, so we'll actually get to stack up some baseball cards. Uh, usually one of the more popular ones when it comes to the rookies uh, because of the classics look of it, and it's just a historically known one. We got ourselves a Trevor Story to start ourselves off with. We got a Kyung Ryu, Jason Hayward, as you can tell. A lot more of our big name guys that we know who they are. We got ourselves a Glaber Torres in the home run challenge card. And then we got ourselves a Javier Baez in the throwback. It's a cool looking card there. Everyone likes the throwbacks. And we got a Rowdy Telez, a Presley, Dyson, and David Price. All right. Ooh, this one here feels a little bit thicker. Don't know if that means anything or not, or it could be that I just don't recognize the difference between the packs, but we'll find out here in a second, won't we? All right, starting off with the Will Myers, we got a Marcini, Musgrove, Walker, and we definitely have what looks like it's going to be a patch card behind this Angels one, and it is a throwback commemorative 70th anniversary patch of Randy Johnson. All right. Very cool card from Randy Johnson with the patch on there. Don't know off the top of my head what the exact number count for the patches was, but it is a patch card. It is something that's uh, inserted in there, so makes it a little cooler. Next up, we have significant significant statistics for Luis Robert. That is a, it's actually cool because the material of that card is different than the standard card. We got a rookie Joe Adele and Edwin Rios, future stars. And there we go, I got a couple of rookies at the back of this one. I didn't see any rookies at the beginning of this unless I was completely just blown by them, which I don't believe I was. Nope, we just uh, went all, almost two full packs before we got to our first rookie there. So, you never know what's going to happen on each and give a pack, it's always interesting. So, here we go. So far we've got a, we did hit manage to get a hit in both of our packs so far. We got that the little the symbol on that one there. And as we keep on rolling on through, Alex Wood, we got a Mitch Fulmer, we got a Zimmer, Francisco Lindor, shortstop in his uh throwback looking uniform. Or throwback looking card. I do like the throwback cards, they look pretty cool. Rookie cards, because I do collect a lot of the old school cards, so the it goes well. It goes really well with those collections with the new modern players. So that's always a cool thing to add into the set. So far, nothing too crazy in here. We do have a lot of just the base cards coming out of this one here. A lot of big name players, but they're all just kind of their base cards, which is pretty common. That's what you get a lot of times with these um, these more blaster retail packs. We got a Javier Baez and a Nolan Arenito in the throwbacks and we did have one red sock in there so I'll toss the red sock into the side pile with the other red sock I have there we go keeping our red sock collection alive and strong there we go next pack and it's 14 cards per pack here is the number I was a little bit off Looks like we have something It's going to be a little bit inserted shiny on this one here. So Jazz Chisholm, one of the top rookies this year. That's a good card. And then we got a Corbin Burns. We have ourselves a Basabe rookie card. Avila. Some just more base cards. Here we go with another rookie card. And this is of Floriel. And then we're going to have a Topps Chrome in the throwback of Nolan Arenado in the throwback look card. So that is really cool. And we have something right behind it as well. All right, 
I have to get a little fancy with this here. Don't want to spoil what's going to come next, but we do want to go ahead and sleeve up the this nice Topps Chrome card there in the throwback. And next up, we have ourselves a number to 2021, number 683, and this is Brendan Rogers of the Colorado Rockies in the brown wrapping. All right. This is a, a double hit in one pack right there. Never upset about that. And I think we now have our new uh, leader on the stand as of yet. With that one, they are definitely topping off above what we got out of the Allen and Ginter. We got a Lizardo. We got a Sean Murphy. And then we have a Jared Oliva rookie card. So add another rookie in there. All of these boxes were actually the pretty much the same price as well. So we have a equal in value across the board here for each of these different retail boxes. We got ourselves another rookie there. And keep on rolling on through here with a lot of base cards. A picture of this for the Braves. That's a pretty popular one. And I'm not sure what this is here. That is a Michael Conforto. I have opened a lot of Topps 2021 Series 2 this year. I have not seen that card before, to be honest. And I've seen most everything so far in these series, but that is a unique insert card that I have not seen before. Very cool. Something unique right there. Yadio Molina. We got a Hazley. We got a Chavez to add into the Red Sox collection. And Yolan Malanda. All right, last set here. See if we can add in anything else to our collection of the Top Series 2, which is definitely in the lead right now. That's the one benefit of also having more cards in the packs, is there's more chances for stuff, but it also means they're going to get a lot more base cards at the end of the day, as we have noticed here today. We got ourselves a Beau Bichette. Always love the Bichettes. He is a great young player in the league. who has been doing a lot of great things. He's also been doing really well in with our competitions against Heroes Card Challenge, so that's always a positive as well. Alright, we're done with Top Series 2, gonna move those base cards out of the way. We have our rookie set, which is a pretty reasonable set of rookies right there. Even got one that was in a insert series, gonna slide that to the back. And next up, we're gonna go, let's do Stadium Club first. I, uh, I just like the look of the Gypsy Queen, so I'm gonna go ahead and do them last, even though I would probably say Stadium Club would likely get the nod as potentially being a little bit more valuable and often, but I don't know if this is really a, a true determination. There's only 41 cards inside of this box. So, as you can tell, the Top Series 2 had over 100 cards in comparison, and I almost threw off the, the one in almost threw off the one extra card they put in here. We had a Don Mattingly throwback master photo card there. So I'll go ahead and put that just in the background there. And here we go with the Stadium Club. There's only five cards per pack, so these ones here are not quite as deep in the lineup. It's okay. It's what makes them uh, so cool. I don't know what they were doing here. We have a Trevor Rogers Marlins card that is flipped the other way. There we go. We do have a inserted Frankie Montas of the Oakland A's in the orange. So that is a parallel there for that series. We got ourselves a Jazz Chisholm rookie card. We got a Kevin Keimer and a Josh Bell. All right. These packs here will be kind of a little bit quicker to burn through just because there's less cards in each one of them. So I get the hang of how they're set up, make it a little bit easier. We got a Dylan Bundy. We got a U Darvish. That's a parallel, red parallel there. Do not believe the red parallels are numbered. Go ahead and drop that one there, there. The orange parallel, the throwback. We got a rookie Pacino. We got a Pujols before he was traded this year, and a Blake Snell. Pujols has been having a little bit better year since he's went over to the Dodgers, switching. Switching LA teams seem to have done him well. Also going to give him a chance to possibly get a ring this year. Those Dodgers are looking extremely strong. I don't like how they're sticking together like that, to be honest. And then we got a 
Grashtral. We got a number one pick in the 90s. Throwback of, so it's a remake of the original, which was a very popular card. Oh, that is of Chipper Jones. So, cool little throwback there. We got a Hosmer, a George Pat, and a Heim rookie card. All right, next up. Right, here we go. We got ourselves we got ourselves a Randy Rosarena. We got a Dalton Jeffries rookie red card. It's a good little rookie there. We got a Floreal, Dustin May, and Kyle Seeger. I always have to give a double look whenever I see the Seegers. Mixing up the Corys and the Kyles. I think it's probably a pretty easy mistake to make, but don't try to. We got a George Solar. We got a rookie of Brady Singer, I, that is some sort of, like, it's a blue parallel. I have not seen that one quite as often. It's interesting. Throwback of Nolan Ryan, Nolan Ryan, Kirby Plunkett, and there we go, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. What a great player that is. We had a whole number of his back when we did the, 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 the Jr. pull. If you haven't seen that one, you definitely want to go check that out. And if you haven't already, you're going to want to go over to our video that was a couple weeks back where we did the um we did a pull we got a rookie jamai jones great young player right there but if you haven't had a chance to yet definitely go back and watch our video from a couple weeks ago we opened up a donruss elite football box there's a big giveaway that we have going on on that one there all you have to do is like the video subscribe to the channel comment who you think is going to be the top rookie of this year and by doing that, you're going to give yourself a chance to win one of, win a couple of the top rookie cards from this year. So, not something you want to miss out on. So, definitely go over to that video and check it out. It's going to be in the comments below. We got ourselves a U Darvish and a cool virtual reality insert card. We got a Winfield, a Manny Machado, and a Starling Marte. All right, last pack. Here we go. So far, nothing really too crazy in here. There's a couple um, parallels, but none of the parallels are. Uh, the, really the top ones. We got something cool behind here though. We got a Zach Granke and we have an instant vision of Aaron Judge. That is a very cool looking card. Instant vision. Very cool. Some sort of, I think it's just an insert card, but it is a really cool like insert I don't know if that's considered memorabilia, really, being it's just a picture of him again, but it's very cool. I'll go ahead and move this off to the side here for a second. Put that in the back. And we got a Brian Buxton, a Justin Verlander, and an Andrew Benatendi. Old Red Sox there. We miss him in the miss him in the old red and blue, but. He's enjoying himself down at the Royals. Got ourselves our inserts. We're gonna go ahead and put our rookies off to the side. Not our inserts, our parallels, my apologies. And then we'll open up our last box. And our last box is Topps Gypsy Queen from the 2021. All right, guys, I hope everyone's been enjoying this. If you have, definitely like the video, subscribe to the channel. You're gonna to wanna to always check this out because we're doing new different things every single week. I like to mix it up. We've got a chase coming up pretty soon that we're gonna be going after some really cool football chases. So if you enjoy football, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check that out. It's gonna be a chase for some cowboy rookie cards. I am super stoked about that one. Uh, huge cowboy fan. And this is going to be to try and beef up my personal collection of my favorite guys, Ezekiel Elliott and Dak Prescott. So you're not going to want to miss that one there. This is the Gypsy Queen, though. We have 49 cards. Can the Gypsy Queen really top off? I think it's going to be top series two. Um, that's the probably the front runner right now. So we'll see if we can top that off with something good in here. We got a Didi Gregorius. We got a Yu Darvish again. Had him a couple different styles so far. We got a Guzman. We got an Aaron Judge on the insert Gypsy Queen. We got a Trevor Story on the green, which I don't believe it is not. The green is not a numbered card, but it is still a cool parallel. We got a Hernandez and a Romero rookie card. All right, that was a good start. On to pack number two of seven. Let's see if we can keep that going. We got ourselves the Byron Buxton. We got a Ian Anderson. Jordan Alvarez. Great player there. 
all these. We have a short print royal uh, that is Whit Merrifield. So good young player down in Kansas City. And all of these uh, no named cards are always short prints. So definitely a, a popular one inside of this series. I'll throw that up there. I want to make sure we keep a fill up the fill up the wall. We'll see if we get some anything good in here. We got Evan Longoria in the green parallel. Might have been a green parallel. Per it is. It blues one green parallel per pack, so that uh tells you that they're not overly uncommon. But they're still cool. They are parallel, so they're gonna be a little bit less than the base there. But uh yeah. We got ourselves a Watt Rodriguez to go into the Red Sox collection. We got a Mario rookie card, McKenzie rookie card. We got a McNeil in the green parallel. We got ourselves a Gallo. And we got ourselves a Harrison rookie card. Definitely having a rookies are a little bit stronger in this Gypsy Queen set. There's been a couple in every single pack so far. Plus you get those green parallels, so although not super short print or anything like that. They are still a little bit cool. Alright, and Gypsy Queen has probably been one of my favorite series so far this year that we've uh, we've opened up here on our page or in the challenges with Nelson's Cards and Collectibles. So we got a Dubon, we got an Antone rookie card, we got a Jimenez rookie card, we got ourselves a Berrios, and we got ourselves a rookie of Aviado. One looked a little bit different when it was coming out. I thought it was gonna be something special. It's a it's a base rookie card, but rookie nonetheless. Always like a lot of rookie cards. Next up, coming on down to the end here. I think we're gonna have a pretty good battle here between Top Series Two and Gypsy Queen. Be sure to put in the comments below what you think is the winner of the of the battles here of these different packs. We got an Oliveris. Jackie Bradley Jr., another old Red Sox player. We got a Juan Carlos Santa, John Carlos Santa in the green. We got a Chavez in the Red Sox. And we got ourselves another rookie. But yeah, put your comments below. Which one do you think is best? Do you, which, uh, which one would you prefer to open up? Um, I think by look and appearance, Gypsy Queen might be my personal favorite. But um, I do. I, I'm, I am a sucker for the original Topps series cards as well. I think those are always really cool. So... Never hurts my feelings to open those up. There we go, we got a Rodriguez in the green parallel. And all right, I don't know what this is called. It's like a pink card. It is a Pete Alonzo. And that is a, obviously, a great looking card right there. Get the red going when we got ourselves something really cool there. Look at that. And that is numbered to 99. Oh man. Pete Alonzo is something that we've had a really good luck with getting a pretty cool collection of Pete Alonzo. So far we have Pete Alonzo in the rookie cards, in multiple forms of the rookie card. We have a Pete Alonzo with a jersey and a signature, and now we have a Pete Alonzo short printed in Gypsy Queen. That is a cool card. That is probably one of my, my top card of the day. Favorite card for sure. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and make some room. What a good one to kind of bring us as we're coming to the end today. And then we got a Kirloff rookie card. I think we might have just seen our winner for the day, possibly within like one card, taking the entire day. Like, that is how nice that card is. Pete Alonzo is one of my personal favorites um, of that class that came in. That came, I mean, he came in such a big class. He came in with the Vlad Guerrero. He came in with the Tatis. So I think he gets kind of being the forgotten third wheel of that group. Um, and he also came with Eloy Jimenez, who is also a great player. So very, very stacked group. And then we got a Marte. We got a Matt Carpenter. And a Ruiz to finish it off. All right, y'all. That is going to be all of our cards for today. Let's do a quick rundown of what all we came up with. So going back to the original set, we wind up having... Really, the Allen and Ginter. This is the this is the highlight of the Allen and Ginter set. We got the Todd Hilton, Hilton numbered to only 25, so that's a very sh very short print. That's the shortest of our prints today. 
Um, within that set also we did have the cool teams of the Washington and Philadelphia and a couple of rookies. Nothing too crazy on the rookies, only four rookies in that set there. Next we went to Top Series 2. And in Top Series 2, we had for, we had a group of rookie cards in there as well. It did include the Jazz Chisholm. That was probably the highlight, as well as the Joe Adele for the rookie cards. We did have the Nolan Arenado in the Tops Chrome. We had the patch, Randy Johnson, commemorative patch. And then we had the numbered Brendan Rogers, And that one was numbered to 2021 for the year. So for Top Series 2, then we went over to Chrome. And in Chrome, we did have a Bart. Oh, we had a Joe Bart. We had a Jemai Jones. We had a... Dalton Jeffries in the red. So, had a so, Jazz, Chis, Jazz Chisholm again. We got a red there. We had, the, and then we had a couple of orange and red cards on the back side of there. Those parallels. Highlight of this one would probably be the Aaron Judge Insta Vision card. Nothing overly special on that one there, but it was still a cool card. Then we go over and we have a lot of green parallels from the Gypsy Queen. Which is always cool. We got the Trevor Story in the green, and we got the Judge, and that was inside the uh, the tarot card set. Rookies. Look at all these rookies we did on this set here. We got the Kurloff. We got the Olivier, Jimenez. A lot of big name ones. The Mario. So, and the Guzman from the Marlins. So that was a great one. But then the really, we had the Whit Merrifield, no name short print, and then the big one, the Pete Alonso. Numbered to only 99 in this red parallel version card. Absolutely gorgeous. Probably the highlight of the entire day in my opinion. I would say that probably my favorite out of these four specific boxes had to be the Gypsy Queen. I always do like Gypsy Queen. I have a little bit of a favoritism to that one there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let, which one did you prefer? Do you, did you prefer the Top Series 2 over the Gypsy Queen? Do you enjoy having all the randomness that comes in Allen and Jinter? Um, I personally like the baseball more myself so I like to stick to my sports teams but I still respect the different style that they do to those sets so it's cool all right everybody hope you enjoyed have a great one let me know your thoughts and like the video below and subscribe to the channel you're not going to want to miss out what's coming next guys all right